Hey everyone, here's a look at our viewfinder overlays pack sourced from a variety of classic ground glass 35 millimeter viewfinders and medium film matte viewfinders. These simply use viewfinder PNG and focus screen PNG assets are the perfect artistic touch to add vintage viewfinders to give your photo and video content in camera and heads up display looks. Each camera viewfinder PNG image is 8K resolution and pre-keyed for drag and drop ease. The pack is compatible with all photo and video editing software from Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, Vegas, and more. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in both Photoshop and Premiere Pro, but if you're using Final Cut Pro X, Resolve Vegas, or any other video editing software, and the same exact principles apply. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community, leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come with four categories or four folders. You can get your camera viewfinders, a folder of crosshairs, focus screen PNG, and the viewfinder overlays. So there are slight differences to each one for the camera viewfinders, you're gonna get 26 all in 8K resolution, 7680 by 4320. And these are a variety of kind of your in-camera looks as if you're looking through the viewfinder within multiple different types of camera, um, everything from digital to medium format Hasselblad styles. I will cycle through a few of these here and they all come, you know, black, but these are super easy to change to any color you like in the software, and I'll show you momentarily how to do that. So those 25 of those, the crosshairs, you get 25 crosshairs, both rendered out as just simply the crosshair, and then also rendered out in the full 8K full frame resolution. So a ton of variety of different crosshairs that you can easily add in with the other viewfinders to just customize it a little bit more. So these are fully modular. Um, and then the focus screen PNG, you're gonna get 16 of these. Again, a variety of different kind of in-camera focus screen images and overlays to make it look like you're just shooting directly in the camera. And then your viewfinder overlays. And within each one of these kind of aspect ratios, the 1.33, which is a four by three, and a 3.5, which is widescreen format. You're gonna get six varieties of PNG within each one of these folders. So they are mirrored a bit, um, but just different aspect ratios. So you got a ton of different options to choose from. Within each one of these folders, you're gonna get the viewfinder just as a solid line. Then you can get it with the marking the aspect ratio mark in the right corner. You can get dotted hard corners. And then you can get dotted or dashed with rounded corners and angle marks. And then your angle marks plus the crosshairs in the center. So the nice thing is, right, is like basically you can combine you can combine these ones that don't have any crosshairs. You can add crosshairs any crosshair you would like in the center. So these are really modular and editable and customizable to whatever look you would like to do. There's the 2.44 aspect ratio, just to show you a little bit more. And now let's show you how easy it is to add these in Photoshop and Premiere. So we have our image here in Photoshop and let's just go ahead and add say a 1.55, click and drag, drop it in. 
It is super easy and intuitive. They're already pre-keyed, so you don't need to worry about keying or anything. You can just drag and drop it in, scale it in, and it pops right up. So this is the 1.85, and from here, you can easily just go into your kind of effects and blending modes and click on color overlay and change it to whatever color you'd like, right? So that's white. You can change it to red, yellow, blue, anything you would like. So for now, I'll just leave that one on red. I think it matches nicely with her bikini. And I will also add in, let's add in one of the full frame crosshairs just to customize it a little bit. Same thing, drag and drop that in. You can scale it up or you can leave it however you'd like. I'll just leave it as is and I will do the same thing, color overlay. Boom, keep the same red. There you go, you got your 1.85 aspect ratio viewfinder with a custom crosshair directly in the center to give you that look. That's how simple this is. Just really gives you that nice kind of in-camera touch and that futuristic, you can apply these and create HUDs and different heads up display units uh, over your screen and your imagery. A lot of options here. Same thing with Premiere Pro, right? Is it is just as easy as dragging and dropping your viewfinder on top of the video clip. So let's go into our viewfinder folder, have them imported here. I'll do a slightly different one. Let's check out one of our view camera viewfinders and drag and drop that in, camera viewfinder one. Once again, these are 8K, so once you drag and drop it in your sequence, just scale it down 50%, or you can right click, and you can go to set to frame size or scale to frame size. And once again, it is visible right here. You can see that it's black, and if you'd like to change the color, you can go into Type in tint in your effects control panel, drag and drop tint on top, change the black to, again, whatever color you'd like. We'll go red, and boom, easy enough, right? This is definitely one of my favorite viewfinders in the pack. And that's how easy it is, right? Again, you can go in and customize with different crosshairs. You can add in whatever you would like. You can change the color to whatever you'd like. Super simple and intuitive. So have fun with this, guys. We highly recommend checking out the Photo Film Frames pack. It's a great complimentary pack for your asset library. You'll get Kodak 35 film mats, medium format film frames, and Polaroid film frames, along with authentic grain, dust, punch holes, and additional photo film artifacts. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.